Jeffrey wakes up at 1 p.m. every day, goes straight to his computer, and watches his favorite fitness influencer's new YouTube video. He scrolls through their social media pages, seeing them with fit women. Jeffrey asks himself, why don't I have a girlfriend? Why don't I have big muscles? I go to the gym every day, I eat well. Jeffrey says this, but doesn't realize that his workouts aren't planned or intense, just getting the pump and leaving. His idea of eating well is mainly him snacking throughout the day and eating what his mother cooks him. Distraught, Jeffrey continues to scroll, stumbling upon a video of an influencer discussing the problems of low testosterone. Typical testosterone levels for men are 400 to 700, so I'm way below average. I was super nervous after- Jeffrey watches it and says, I must have low testosterone, and that's why I don't have a good physique or, or get any girls. Jeffrey, man, what's wrong with you? Jeffrey searches for testosterone boosters on the internet and is bombarded by multiple vials and reviews discussing the efficacy of the said boosters. With very little education of performance enhancing drugs, Jeffrey buys them receives them and takes them. He takes these capsules, but doesn't change his training scheme at all. He still doesn't get a plan and he still doesn't know what he's doing, just trying to lift the most weight as he can. After a month, he can notice some muscle and strength gain, but also notices the increase of acne, becomes even more self-conscious. After those capsules are all gone, he doesn't know what to do. He gets weaker, he gets smaller and feels even worse compared to when he started. Sadly, Jeffrey has tanked his natural testosterone. Without knowledge of a good PCT, he's probably hopeless. Adonis. Adonis is the peak of masculinity. He possesses the highest level of testosterone a natural can achieve. However, he wasn't always like this. Before his journey into fitness and self-development, he had the same level of testosterone as everyone else, even Jeffrey. He had aspirations to be like his idols, who had Greek god physiques and charming charisma that attracted any woman. Adonis knew he could never be like them, but he strived to be the best him he can be. He went to the gym, got a training program, and became consistent with it for many years. He ate nutritious fuel that fueled his body and, in moderation, treated himself. Donna's search for fulfillment in wisdom and knowledge, he learned how to be social but also stoic, gaining the natural attraction from women, dedicating himself to the pursuit of his growth, not vanity like Jeffrey. You too are an Adonis. You just need to start. Don't be a Jeffrey. No one likes a Jeffrey. Say so that. How did you like my impression of Hamza? Hmm, yeah, got the robe, got everything. I've got the, got the little chain, got the chest, barely any chest hair out, but fine. The whole point of this video is to talk about testosterone. Testosterone is a hormone that plays a vital role in both men and women. Although it's typically associated with men, it belongs to a class of hormones called androgens and is primarily produced in the male testes or the ovaries in women. Testosterone has numerous functions in the body, including the development of the reproductive organs in men, being the testicles and other secondary sexual characteristics, whether it be facial hair growth, deepening of the voice, muscle growth, and height. How tall? How tall? Yeah. 5'11"? 5'11"? Yeah. It's cool. We verify real quick? Verify real quick? Yeah. Uh, For what? For a YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to give you that. I told you you didn't want to. That's why you're not going to check it's it, It's cool, Joel. Come on. We're not trying to take it there, dog. The testosterone is quite anabolic, uh, stimulating protein synthesis, which is essential for muscle growth and repair. Now, in the context of fitness, testosterone has a significant impact on muscle development and athletic performance. Uh, testosterone actually goes into the cell and is converted to DHA. DHT, that DHT molecule then binds with an androgen receptor where it can affect the transcription of various genes, such as the genes involved in skeletal muscle in terms of promoting hypertrophy. Higher testosterone levels can potentially lead to high amounts of muscle growth, strength gain, power output, and recovery. This is why some individuals, such as bodybuilders and athletes, may misuse synthetic forms of testosterone to gain an edge. This can be due to them wanting to be the best in the profession or trying to tackle a crippling insecurity. Ask yourself, do you have body dysmorphia or are you just small? This is actually a two-part answer. And both parts are yes. Chances are you are actually small 
and think you are even smaller. Sadly, it can be both. The use of synthetic testosterone or other performance enhancing substances without medical supervision is illegal in many countries, including the UK, and it can have numerous health consequences if used incorrectly. Taking exogenous hormones, especially testosterone, can lead to the body stopping the production of testosterone naturally. Let's say I take testosterone, then that means my testes will stop producing testosterone and it will cause atrophy, making them really, really tiny. Do steroids make your balls shrink? Well, the answer is yes, they do. But it is a good fucking thing. The higher your balls are, the bigger your fucking dick looks. TRT is quite prevalent in the fitness space, having many athletes admitting to taking TRT for reasons such as aesthetics or just health. <clears throat> Going completely off isn't an option for me. I cannot produce testosterone naturally. TRT is mainly used in individuals that naturally have lower testosterone due to age or genetical factors such as some sort of thyroid syndrome. TRT now in my opinion is being used more as a safe PED compared to other PEDs like Trembolone or Masterone. This means that TRT is being used for aesthetic reasons rather than medical reasons. It does need to be said though that testosterone is essential for health, especially when it comes to, for example, a professional bodybuilder who's doing this professionally and they want to take their body to the next level. They're going to be taking uh, PEDs that enhance their muscle growth and recovery, making them very big. But again, after they go off these PEDs, their testosterone will be tanked, their hormone system will be in a state so obviously they're going to need some sort of hormone replacement therapy to get them back on track then you stop every single workout it seems you're getting weaker and losing gains that's literally what's going to happen if they didn't have a good pct which is post cycle therapy low testosterone can lead to poor quality of life in general and this can be a lack of energy drive or even libido and for men that sucks testosterone is just one factor among many that contribute to athletic performance other factors such as genetics nutrition training and overall lifestyle plays a crucial role in providing you testosterone even though there's no proper natural way to increase testosterone enough to increase muscle mass significantly, cleaning up your diet and getting into a good training schedule will naturally increase your testosterone. Compound movements have been seen to have a increase in testosterone. Uh, maybe not jerking the gherkin that much can show an increase in testosterone. The normal testosterone levels usually range from 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter for men. In women it's mainly 15 to 70. Women sometimes use testosterone as well to increase athletic performance but because they have such little testosterone naturally, they're not going to be able to build as much muscle compared to men. That's why if you take a male and a female and you got them on a personalized program and had them trade for one year, you're going to see way more results with the man because they have high testosterone, which that means they can facilitate more muscle mass, leading to more athletic performance. Now, a lot of fitness influencers lately are like, oh yeah, I need, I need to go on TRT, I think my testosterone's low. And yes, their testosterone is probably low. It's not for the reasons such as genetic factors or anything else. It's mainly because that has such a low body fat percentage that their body just cannot produce that much testosterone. Fat is essential for hormone production. That's why you need a certain amount of fat in your diet. This correlation between an increased fat intake and higher testosterone levels comes as no surprise since testosterone is synthesized from cholesterol. People like Alex Eubank or Jesse James West have dabbled in the idea of taking TRT. Natty Kings, baby. We're the last ones left. I'm going to be the very last one. But they don't need it, they just have to eat more, and that's been stated by many other influencers such as Greg Doucette, who has a lot of knowledge on the use of PEDs, he's a kinesiologist, he's not a doctor. Trying to maintain single digit body fat, trying to look like a gym shark fitness model, and this is causing their testosterone levels to plummet. He's not a doctor, but he's dabbled in many of the dark arts, so to say. Aside from TRT, there was that big trend of natural testosterone boosters such as tocasterone or other ecti steroids, but they have been shown to be quite false, such as basically a more advanced form of creatine and not everyone can respond to it well. But other things such as Tonga Ali, shown by Andrew Huberman, have said to increase hormones such as testosterone, but again, these natural supplements are not going to increase to such an amount that's going to increase your muscle mass by two folds. Again, you may have better mood but aside from that testosterone isn't going to make you blow up unless you have it at super physiological doses 
which is actually quite harmful for your health also. Too much of one thing is a bad thing. If we have too much testosterone in our bodies, our bodies will produce estrogen to balance it out. A lot of people want to stop estrogen being produced because that could lead to more feminine features such as gynecomastia and other things such as water retention. But it's also estrogen in males that's important for libido. If estrogen levels are brought too low, then men will completely lose their libido. People think that hyperandrogenized individuals, meaning people that have very high levels of androgen, will have very high levels of libido. And they will, provided estrogen is available in sufficient ratios to match that testosterone. The thing I'm trying to say is that TRT is just not this medical solution to all our problems. Many young teens are trying to dabble in psalms and testosterone because they think it will make them better, it will make them stronger, more aesthetic, make them get women. But the reason that they're not big and strong or getting women is because they haven't dedicated themselves long enough and they haven't changed themselves enough to get women. They think it's all external factors rather than internal. So you're a young man mm -hmm. and all the women are rejecting you. Who's got the problem? It's not all the women. That's right. a bad road to go down. If all the women are rejecting you, it's you. With this in mind, just acknowledge that testosterone is great. Testosterone gives us drive, especially in men. Testosterone makes things feel good. But don't try to increase it to such degrees with exogenous hormones just to feel them better because all it's going to do is just exacerbate the insecurities inside yourself that's why many PED stories involve anxiety attacks fights and all that because that's all the pent up anxiety rage inside oneself just being increased due to PEDs rode the bus for 45 minutes she sucked me off she was so fat I could <laughs> physically could not get the pussy could not get to the pussy. It's basically like the super soldier serum. You know, Captain America, he was a good guy. So when he took the super soldier serum, he became even better of a man. But when like Red Skull took it, he just became a bigger dickhead. So take my words in stride. I'm not a doctor, but I just want to ramble on about things. Hope you like my Hamza impression and good luck with the self-help. I'm boiling. Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. Heavyweight! Yeah,